popsicles. Oh S-tier. wait, hold on. Hold on. Ice hold cream. On. Hold on. Tier. Hold on. That's great and all, but we're getting a Rob Dido on stream. Yeah, I know what it is, Ajax. I know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> I just didn't know what the name of it is. Like I've had this before, and I've seen it a lot of times. Anyway, so I feel like this is a weird matchup because they literally both play the same characters. Yeah. Like, Avid Mech could counterpick his Rob with Diddy, but then Aaron could counterpick his Diddy with Diddy, or his Rob with Diddy. Or they could do the Diddy Ditto, or they can do the Rob Ditto. I, I don't know. I think they're both going to stay Rob, though. My favorite thing about you mentioning that, it kind of brings me back to, like, the crux, the very height of Smash 4, when it was, like, a counterpick between, like, Leo's Leo's DK and Tweak's DK, but also Tweak's Bayo and Leo's Bayo. So, like, that to me was, like, the very... I never saw Leo player. play DK ever in life. Oh, I, I, I think I remember like, I saw him going... No, who was it? He would go Meta Knight. He would go Meta Knight yeah. for the matchup. But you get the point of it. It was, like, a giant counterpick war between the two players. Yeah, except that was a counterpick war with like four different characters. It's only two characters between these two. Yeah. But uh, this will be interesting because, uh, funny enough, Aaron actually has beaten a bit man with both his Diddy and his Rob. Is he dead here? Damn, that was I, actually I, so I, cool. I, I'm upset that you said that. <laughs> like, is he dead here? Yep. Yeah. He did a uh, down tilt jab of smash, up smash. Of double down tilt of smash you know you had to mix it up for you guys you know gotta keep it fresh you gotta keep the content stream fresh bro this is also ab man's original color too that aaron's playing i don't like this color i like the red one better i think it's like the best color so just tell us you don't like bumblebee and go okay let's just this tell us like you hate transformers and go no no no, no. But, you let's know tell what? us you hate just tell us you hate transformers and go man Chat for the record for the record let's tell us you hate shia labeouf and go man for the for the record, <laughs> just for the record, I think Transformers started sucking after the last, the, like the third movie. Then Transformers was garbage. So you're saying that after Megan Fox left Transformers, it started sucking. So what was the What was the third one? The Dark Side of the Moon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. After that one, it was the worst one. I, like Dark Side of the Moon was great, and after Dark Side of the Moon, it was terrible. This anyway, both of these putting on. in work right now. No, 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 this is a C-3PO color. Somebody in the chat has said this one. Yeah, it's a C-3PO color. A Bumblebee nah, is more of a cool bright enough. yellow. Bumblebee is a bright yellow. This is more C-3PO. I'm just telling you, bro. Nah. C-3PO is literally gold. Not, he's not yellow at all. But Bumblebee is a bright, like, yellow. Like, a, like a hot, like a weird... Nah, this is rested Bumblebee. He's been through some stuff, man. <laughs> he's the Volkswagen car at the beginning of the first movie. This is definitely a lazy yellow. Anyway, Aaron's going off. <laughs> Aaron's going to town. It's like interesting to me too because AB Man definitely has so much more experience with Rob than Aaron does, but Aaron's just such a good player that he just can continue to like pick AB Man apart even in the ditto. So it makes me wonder if this doesn't go well, like if he gets two stocked here. Will AP Man switch potentially? That's, and that's where you kind of like originally set it off too. Is like it could just be a counter pick war altogether. And yeah, Aaron able to get the rubble arms here at the ledge. One twenty. Man, this was tough too, because like you said, like both of these players kind of essentially main the same characters. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out all the way through. I do think for for AP Man, it may be best to go Diddy. Given the I think Diddy destroys yeah. Rob. Yeah, I that's what I was going to say. Like, I, I think, I think Diddy destroys good Rob. Good so I think but, it's Rob Ditto aside, I think it's better to deal with the Diddy Ditto than the Rob Ditto, in my opinion. For 8-bit man in this case. C3PO yeah, is like I honestly browse. don't think uh, Aaron will even Ditto at this point. I think he's really committed to this all-Rob run. Even if he runs into a quote-unquote bad matchup. Hold on. This guy oh, said this is the Kill Bill jumpsuit yellow. No, that was like a bright, bright yellow, bro. All right. Hold on. Now you have to excuse yourself from this chat because it's Bruce Lee, not Kill Bill. Yeah, and it is a Bruce Lee thing. 
Well, not a lot Kill of people. Hold on, hold on. For the for the for the record, people remember it like depending on your age range. Like you might remember it more Kill Bill than Bruce Lee. All right. Well, I don't care. Real how old you are. You need to know who Bruce Lee is. Bruce Bill, yes. If you know who Kill Bill is, but not Bruce Lee, then you need to educate yourself. Sorry. Anyway. Quentin Tarantino movies are fire. But definitely educate yourself on Bruce Lee, I guess. <laughs> Not a lot of people grew up watching Bruce Lee. I just remember, like, I never saw the Bruce Lee movie until, like, years after Kill Bill. But that's not the point. Anyways, uh, Aaron on the yellow raw, as we can all see here, and Ape and Man on the classic red. And yeah, the reason why I say classic is it's, it's, like, the classic color Ape and Man uses. Yeah, funny enough, I said earlier, but, yeah, he originally always used the yellow raw. But, yeah, red looks way better. Oh. I think it's funny. It's like, literally, Ape Man is fighting himself right now. He's fighting his old color, his own character. But, uh, yeah, I imagine that both of these guys, um, we're just going to stick Rob here. Uh, oh, my God. That was yeah, insane. and that was so only, a big read from Aaron. I feel too. like Rob can, is, like, the only character that can do that to himself. I think that way he just chased him with his own up be like that. That would be cool. I agree. This is probably the Cyrox Rob Yellow, if you remember Mortal Kombat. Or if you know Mortal Kombat. I don't really want to call Cyrax and Rob the same character. How low key they Cyrax are. really like a human. Yeah, but like he's... Oh, not a good point. He's just yellow. Anyways. Anyway. But, anyway, Aaron's committed to the full Rob run, and Ava Man has a lot of pride in his Rob as his main character. So that's why I imagine... They're just both gonna duke out the ditto, and uh, I think Ava Man also wants to prove to himself that he can actually beat Aaron's Rob, since he does kind of struggle against Aaron's Rob. Uh, yeah. Particularly. This is why oh, I say yeah. like Rob dittos are indicative of like who is the better player. It's just more of like how good are you at versus the opponent, and how good are you are able to like use all the tools that you know as the character against basically the character itself. But man, Aaron, Aaron's Rob has been very, very different. I would say somewhat refreshing too, because he's been pulling off some things with Rob that I've never seen. Rob also, has a lot of potential to grow, man. Like, yeah, he does. Even he with does. how good he is right now, that was an amazing uh, Pratt fall setup too, but with a down tilt, by the way. But uh, yeah, there's still like so many more technical things Rob can do. Oh, he didn't oh, tech that. Oh yeah, he did not tech that. I think he Whoa. got caught. The thing is that he went for up air, and that was an end lag of up air. And then two zero, oh, by the way, not yeah, zero zero. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron's popping off. Going crazy. But, yeah, uh, but I definitely think that he should keep playing this character. And Ape Man as well. But there's still, like, even at the level Rob is, he's doing so well. But there's still so many more technical things he can do with Gyro. There's so many more, like, combo routes he has with Gyro that don't even get explored yet that are also insanely good. That's the so, funny uh, thing, too. Is, like, remember the Diddy meta, like, post post nerf? Like, Diddy's meta didn't truly develop in Smash 4 until, like, Diddy actually got nerfed. And then people discovered, like, what the Diddy meta really was. So I'm curious if, like, that, by that, like, fact of process, would that work for Rob as a whole? If, if one thing got nerfed, would that open to the true potential of, like, instead of going for this common Rob option, right, you start doing these other moves because the nerf has changed, basically, the meta of the character. So I'm, yeah, I'm, cu maybe, I'm curious. Maybe that'll happen. Or maybe they just won't ever nerf Rob ever. I don't they think they will. Dude, they have not nerfed anything in this game. They like, barely nerfed some things. There, there, were, there are more buffs in this game, and there are nerfs in my opinion. And it's kind of know, obvious that, if you look at all the patches. That Pichu and Olimar nerfs pretty, pretty Those are pretty Those are actually warranted, to be fair. Olimar was not okay, and Pichu was some definitely something. Yeah, I don't know. Even the Palu nerf isn't super crazy. No, it's not. Bring back Peach Patch Pichu. No. Sierra, I know for a fact you don't really mean that. <laughs> like, I know for a fact you don't want to fight Void's pre patch Pichu. Like, I know, I know you you're strides. capping. I know you did. <laughs> no, I, I know you suffered. Pre patch Void Pichu a lot. It, it's still not fun. Even his normal Pichu is not fun. Fighting Void in general is not fun. <laughs> no matter what character you play. You don't even get to play. You just keep getting comboed over and over. Then people on <laughs> Twitch and Twitter pop off on you because no, Void comboed you for a billion percent. Did some ridiculous combo. There's no I, winning when you're fighting Void. Ever. There, is, there, is, there is no winning. I think if Void main Joker, he'd be top ten. PGR easily. He does main Joker. 
I haven't seen Void play a lot. I'm gonna be real with you. Every time I've seen him play, it's either been Sheik or a different character. But I know it's mostly because he's streaming. Oh, uh, we can talk about Void hopefully one day when we come back to offline and stuff. Because I know he's really strong offline. So far we have Ape Man and Aaron. Aaron up 2-0 over Ape Man. And it is looking rough here, but Ape and Man with Ape the Man first big off. break. Yeah, finally, popping off here. Finally gets the first stock. All right, let's see how Ape Man plays when he has the lead. Because so far, it's just been Aaron dominating from first stock to final stock. So far, though, not really able to do much. He's holding on to his stock. Oh, my goodness. Aaron is letting his back airs fly, dude. That back air that he hit him with was not guaranteed at all. But Ape Man got caught mashing a uh, jab, not blocking whatsoever. And that lead he had all but evaporated. Aaron's back in it. Into the throw. Up throw fair. Good percent. Double fair into the laser. Almost gets the laser snipe. But now Aaron has the ledge control. You can put a gyro here. No, it falls off the stage, unfortunately, for Aaron. But Ape Man maybe has a second chance at life. You gonna catch the landing? No, that narrow is actually beautifully spaced. Crossed him up and got the fade back to the ledge. Here's the gyro once again. Tech chase here. Oh, he oh. didn't go for it. Went for a roll read instead. I thought he would go for that easy jab block. Guaranteed stock for Aaron, but... Maybe make it another chance until he just drops shield. Landing into his shield again with another chunky back there, dude. Maybe man's not blocking that move right now. Uh-oh. 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 Aaron's getting a little bit fancy with okay, the gyro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to end it all. Would, it, would that spike kill at 28? Probably, you know, this character's nah, crazy. Yeah, like I was gonna say, Rob Dare is something. Rob Dare is most definitely something. Alright. So far, Aaron is applying tons of pressure. There's the gyro in his hand once again. Ava Man trying to get off the ledge. Doesn't read the roll. Goes for a really hard read, but the down throw, up tilt, no up air. Nope, no shield poke either. Aaron's stuck on the platform just a little bit. Oh man, this is so scary for A Bit Man and Aaron. But at least Aaron has a stock to play with. A Bit Man's trying to make something happen here with the comeback. Okay. Nope, no gyro at the ledge either. Oh, <laughs> Double man. Nair, but this time it's oh, gonna be Aaron goodness. winning the trade. Nairs are flying Nair to Nair. Uh oh. Misses the tech. Okay, Aaron doesn't go for the job lock again, but up air through the ledge. A Bit Man, last chance. Last chance so far to bring this back. Can he do it? He needs that Rob power, that Rob kill potential, that kill incredibly early. That's what it's going to take in my opinion right now. So far though, Aaron's not really looking in a position to make that happen. The gyros are just switching hands so fast. Oh no, two gyros at the oh, ledge. Oh and my he still goodness, oh he's kept arms. going! <laughs> he still gets the robots. Dude. It that was, was pain. That was pain. Bro, was Aaron, two Aaron, at the ledge. I don't think Aaron was mashing side B anymore. I think he was already doing side B, and then like it got canceled out by Aven Man's gyro hitting him. But then he just did it again. <laughs> they had no hits done. 